Vim. Vim is a program that the sheer name of it causes those who have unfortunately been forced into using it to perhaps become trapped because they have no idea how to use it. Um, it's had this notoriety for some reason of being extremely complicated and difficult to use. Uh, but is it really? No, I actually think that's a bunch of bull crap. I think it's actually really easy to use. Um, so I'm actually going to show you exactly how easy it is to use it right now. So we're going to go over to my terminal here and to start using Vim, all you have to do is just run it. Um, you don't even have to point it at a file. If you just run it normally, you just open it up like this. Um, and this is all you see at first. Um, for the purpose of this video, I have disabled all of my configurations so that if you're just using Vim for the first time, this is exactly what you will see as well. Now, the first thing that will trip you up if you don't know anything about Vim is you have to understand that Vim is what's called a modal based editor. What does that mean? A modal editor can be in different modes. Depending on what mode it's in changes the behavior of it. Now when you first load up in Vim, um, you are in what's called normal mode. Normal mode is for navigation and editing, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, but if you're just starting Vim for the first time, so let's get into something more comfortable. If you hit I for, it goes into insert mode, uh, which remember a lot of these Vim keys, um, you can rem help remember them by just remember that you know, insert is I. Now in this mode, Vim behaves much more like your traditional text editor, like Nano or Visual Studio Code. So I can just start writing text like this is um, text, maybe a couple of lines. Um, what the hell am I doing? Question mark, question mark. And so let's say you are done entering text. So to leave insert mode, you go and you hit escape. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, uh-oh, so I entered my text uh, how the hell do I move around? So here's the thing that also tends to trip people up is in Vim, you don't use the mouse, you just use a keyboard. And to move around, it's fairly simple. Um, the primary keys to move around in Vim are H, J, K, and L. Um, H goes left, L goes right, or over left one character, right one character. J goes down one line and K goes up one line. So I'm going to hit H. See, it's going over by one character. Uh, I'm going to hit L. Goes over. I'm going to hit K. Go up. J. Go down. Um, that can be maybe hard to remember at first. Uh, the easiest way I remembered was that if your fingers are on the home row right there, H, J, K, and L, um, H is on the left, so H goes to the left. Uh, L is on the right, so L goes to the right. Uh, when it comes to up and down, uh, you just got to kind of remember that one. Now, you can also move with the arrow keys, uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, it will benefit you greatly in the long run if you do not use the arrow keys. In fact, I will show you in a later video when I talk about how to configure them, how you can just straight up turn off the arrow keys to prevent the, to prevent the temptation. So you want to edit this text. So sort of some other things you typically want to do when you're editing text. Well, let's say that I want to um, highlight some stuff to change it. Well, uh, one of the other modes Vim has is called visual mode. In the enter visual mode, you have to hit V while you're in normal mode. Now in visual mode, you move around like you do normally, and you will start highlighting text. Um, what can you do with this uh, text once you've highlighted it and you hit V to stop? Um, you can do things like yank, which is Y. Um, that verbiage may be a little weird. Uh, yank would be synonymous with uh, copy. So, and if you want to paste it, or as in Vim's terminology, it's put, you just hit P. 
So you see I have copied the text that I had highlighted. Now let's say you didn't want to do that. Uh, you can hit U for undo, or if you want to redo your undo, you hit Control R, right? Uh, so what else would you want to do? Well, let's say I want to delete some text. Well, let's see, if you hit a DD, it will delete a line. Now, when you delete something in Vim, it doesn't actually get deleted, deleted. It's more synonymous with doing a cut in a, in a typical text editor. So if I hit P right now, it'll actually put the text back exactly where it was. Uh, what else do you want to do? So navigating around with HJK and L is fine, but if I have like a lot of text, um, it might be cumbersome to you know, hit, hit L 20,000 times and go over and stuff like that. So there's got to be an easier way to navigate around, right? Well, there is. So Vim has this concept called text objects. Um, text objects are what Vim defines as different uh, bodies of characters in the buffer. So the main ones being words, sentences, and paragraphs. And so what does that mean? So there's a couple of keys that allow you to navigate around by word. So if you hit W, you will go to the next word, and again, and again, next line, etc. Um, if you hit E, it will go to the end of the current word, or if you're at the end of the current word, the end of the next word. Um, so what if you want to go backwards? Um, you hit B, uh, which makes sense, which the easy way to remember that is B is back, W is word which is forward which is a little weird but you'll get used to that um now let's say that some of these things you've been doing like um yank and deleting um you can actually combine the uh motions the the actions you are doing on words so it's kind of cumbersome to be you know, say oh i want i want to uh, I'm going to copy this word, so I want to highlight it, and I got to hit Y, and I got to hit Paste. Um, there's actually a much easier way to do that. You can hit uh, Y, W. So what did that do? You yanked a word. You copied this word. So if I go right here and hit P, paste the word. Um, if you want to delete a word, DW, straightforward. Um, if you want to yank a whole paragraph or a whole sentence y s so what did that do not what i thought it did okay uh what if you want to yank a whole paragraph uh this actually probably is okay yeah uh, if one of the other main things you can do is you can combine uh numbers with those actions you've been doing, like deleting and yanking. So let's say that I wanted to delete three words. Well, you do three D W. So it deleted three words. You can undo it. Um, you can do the same thing with yank. So uh, yank or three W Y. Yank three words. Paste. They're all there. Um, if you want to uh, start, there are more than one ways to go into insert mode, um, which stop you from having to go all the way into the line to like move around all the time. So if you wanted to say uh, start entering more text in at the end of this line, well normally you'd have to go all the way over to the end of the line. Uh, but the easy way to do that is you can hit uh, capital A which is append, and now you're at the end of the line, already right, insert mode, uh, this is some more text. Um, if you want to start entering text below where you're at, you can hit O. Um, if you want to start entering text above where you are, that's uh, capital O. If you want to
move around in the document and it's a little bigger, um, the G key will help you a lot here. So if you want to uh, go to the end of the document, you hit capital G. That will automatically take you all the way to the bottom of the document. If you want to go to the start of the document, GG. If you want to go to a specific line, you would do that with the line number and then capital G, because you see now I'm now on line three. So you've so you've entered text in, and uh, you want to you want to say you want to save this text. Well, this is where a lot of people tend to get confused. So. To do things like save and quit and do some other things, you have to do what you have to hit a colon, which puts you in this thing called last line mode. This allows you to start entering in commands. And the command to write is W. Now, I didn't open a file, so this won't actually let me write this because it's no file. Um, if you want to save the text that you're currently editing as a different file name, you could do save as, and then name of the file, so I'm going to call it like hello.txt, and it's saved. Now, uh, if you want to quit, you do colon Q. Okay, you quit. Uh, now, if you want to re reopen that file, hello. Um, now, the thing about quitting is quitting will not let you quit if you have made some changes to the file, but have not actually saved them. So if I you know, start writing, uh, this is some more text, and then I hit Q, it's gonna say, you can't do it because uh, you haven't saved. Um, so you can do two things there. You can either save it again, or you can say, if I don't care about these changes, and you can do Q exclamation point, which will uh, throw out the changes when you quit. So at this point, you should be able to enter text, edit some text, uh, move around the document a little easier, uh, be able to save and exit. You should now be able to do very, very basic things. Um, in another video, in the next further and future videos, I will go further into some of the more advanced ways you can move around and edit documents, as well as also doing things like configuring them and doing things with plugins, which is not this is fun. Now, if you like the video, if you want to see more content like this, do me a favor and go ahead and hit the like button down below. Um, if you want to see more, hit subscribe and ding the little bell down below. It really helped me out. Um, I, I want to I want to start growing this channel if at all possible. And I, if y'all hit the do that, it would tell me that you want to see more of this type of content. Um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about this video. So um, y'all come y'all come back now, and I'll see you next time.